Hi there. In this video, we're going to measure the amount of power absorbed and generated by all the elements in a simple example circuit. We'll use this information to verify that conservation of power is satisfied for the circuit. This project will require us to apply the passive sign convention to various circuit elements and to determine the sign of power from the measured voltage and current relative to the passive sign convention. First, let's review our basic definitions relative to electrical power. The power of a given circuit element is simply the product of the voltage and the current for that element. The tricky part of a power calculation, if there is one, is determining the sign of the power for an element. However, determining the sign of the power is essential for a meaningful power calculation because the sign on the power tells whether the element is absorbing or generating power. If the power is positive, the element absorbs power. If the power is negative, the element generates power. The sign of the voltage and the current used in the power calculation is based on the assumed voltage polarity and current direction. The assumed voltage polarity and current direction must be chosen according to the passive sign convention. Here's our example circuit. We're going to measure voltages and currents for each of the resistors in the circuit, use these measurements to calculate the power of each element, and then verify that conservation of power, that is, that the sum of all the powers in a circuit is zero, is obeyed for this circuit. Of course, the first thing we have to do is define our unknowns and choose reference voltage polarities and current directions for the circuit. I'm going to arbitrarily choose reference voltage polarities for each circuit element as shown. Once the assumed polarities are chosen, the reference current directions must be as shown here. Notice that I always follow the passive sign convention for the resistors by choosing positive current to be entering the positive voltage terminal. Now let's wire up our circuit, measure our voltages and currents, and calculate powers for each of the elements. Keep in mind during the following that we have to make our measurements so that they're consistent with our assumed reference directions. This is our basic circuit. This is our 1.5 kilo ohm resistor, our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, and our 1 kilo ohm resistor. We're using V plus on the analog discovery to apply 5 volts. Our ground is here. Now we need to make our measurements. We'll have to do three different measurements in order to get the current and the voltage through each of these resistors. To measure the current and voltage through the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor, I've disconnected it from the other two resistors. My ammeter is between the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and the other two resistors. I'm using channel 1 on the analog to discovery to measure the voltage across the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. Our voltage is about 3.4 volts, and our current is about 2.29 milliamps. Now let's do the other resistors. To measure the voltage and current for the 1 kilo ohm resistor, I've disconnected that resistor from the other two. Since current is assumed positive this direction, here is my red terminal on my ammeter, here's my black terminal on my ammeter. V plus is measured here, and minus is measured there. I'm getting about minus 1.58 volts across that resistor and minus 1.56 milliamps of current through it. Finally, to measure the voltage and the current across the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, I disconnect that resistor from this point, put the ammeter between this terminal and this terminal, and measure my voltage across this resistor. I get about 1.58 volts and about 0.72 milliamps. These two columns are the voltages and the currents for the three resistors. To get the power for each resistor, we simply multiply the voltage and the current numbers. So for the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor, we have 7.82 milliwatts of power dissipated. For the 1 kilo ohm resistor, we have 2.46 milliwatts dissipated because a negative times a negative becomes a positive. For the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, we get a absorbed power of 1.14 milliwatts. Now, if we want to check conservation of power, we need to determine the current through the source. The voltage of the source is 5 volts. The current through the source is the same as the current through the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. However, this current is now entering the negative voltage terminal of the source. I need to change the sign on one or the other. I'll change it on the current. If I multiply these two together now, I get a negative 11.5 milliwatts. 
Now, if I add up all these powers, I should, according to the conservation of power law, get zero. So 7.82 milliwatts plus 2.46 milliwatts plus 1.14 milliwatts minus 11.5 milliwatts turns out to be negative 0 0.08 milliwatts. It's not quite zero, but it's close enough to zero to give us a warm, fuzzy feeling, especially considering the accuracy of our measure measurements. 